welcome to my channel learn tech uh, this is sandeep kol and in today's video uh, i will explain you an integration between sopi which is basically a tool which we use to test the apis uh, we will integrate this uh, with bmc remedy we will see how we can test a web service how we create a web service and then how we can test this web service using the sopi this is we will explain or we will see this in this video okay so here we will start uh, now in bmc remedy you know that uh, for all the forms there is a provision given in bmc remedy through which we can create a web service so the way we can create a web service is through, through this uh, you know web services option so here uh, you can uh, right click on this and click on a new web service so it will open up a new web service page so here to create a new web service what you need to do you have to first of all select a form so this form will be any form which is there in the uh, remedy system so for me let me suppose select one of my forms let's suppose this form and then uh, we can define uh, these uh, the other options which are given there in if you have to use any particular um, you know uh, xml schema that you can define but today we will see only the basic uh, part of this web service so i have selected this form here now we have to define an operation so you know in uh, web service we have number of operations like we have create we have get operation get list set operation service operation so these are three uh, sorry these are different option options available create is for creating something in that particular form using the web service then get operation is to get or a drive or search on that particular form using the web service then get list operation is a uh, again a search operation but it uh, you can retrieve a list with this particular option then we have also set operation set is an update operation where you can set values in a uh, you know web service and then also we have this service option which also we can use normally we use these uh, four operations in um, day to day you know integrations or any a place where we use a web service but there are cases where we have um, like we might need to use the different options now uh, in this video what i will do for just for understanding i will just add this create operation here so once you uh, add this create operation it will build this mapping here this input and output map so by default it will give you this mapping so you can also change it add it but what we will do we will just keep it as it is and then for the create operation uh, we will uh, do this create operation then uh, here this is the you know web service location or the url for the web service by default it is like this so here you what you need to do you need to change the ip of your uh, mid tier server so let's suppose my mid tier and uh, ER server are on same location then if you uh, have a port this is norm normal ER server uh, you know URL which we use normally and here also this is the server name it has by default it has taken the host name then uh, this is the name of the form so if I save this it will create a uh, you know it will uh, basically um, it will uh, add this web service and it will display me it i have already created it uh, for just for uh, convenience i have already created it so it is here so here what i have done you can see that i have changed these uh, details like then uh, sir, sir host name and port i have added and plus this is this name it automatically takes when you save this you know um, this web service then to test this web service what you need to do let me just show you uh, suppose I will remove this. So currently, it is not showing anything. It is just giving me an error. So I will add the, again the name. Then, when you click on view, it should display uh, the web service like this. If it is not displaying, that means there is some issue with it. Okay. So we need to have a web service like this in your system. So once it is displaying it like this, that means you have successfully created a web service with the added operation, which is here. So now uh, we will see how we can use this web service uh, through a SOAP UI and create a record in BMC Remedy. So 
So to use this in a SOAP UI, just copy this URL, go to your SOAP UI. Here you can create a new uh, new SOAP project or new project. It is give just a name test. Test, uh, test UI. I'll just give it a name. Then um, it will ask for initial WSDL. So what I will do? I will copy paste this. And what it will do with the URL? Let's see how what it will do with this. Okay, so it has created me a new uh, web service operation for testing. And here it has added it. You can just rename it as per your convenience. The project, everything you can do. You know, it has one request, and uh, it as we have added one operation to the uh, um, uh, web service, so it is showing us this one operation, which is create operation. So when you open it, it will look something like this. So currently, I have only added create operation. It is showing me create operation here. Now what we need to do, we need to provide values to test this. So let, let us see um, what options we have here. So first of all, username and password is mandatory. So let me add you my username and password. Then uh, I have to, this for the create operation, we have submit, you know, we have if I open this, this is my form. So we have these fields, roll number, name, marks, subject, and then marks out of. And then we have some default fields. So in the web service, you will see these fields. So we have, um, these are default fields, submitter. Uh, by default, it is taking the username. So let it um, keep it like this. Status is new. Then short description will also take the user. Then we will provide these values. Let's suppose marks. I will say hundred. Subject will say soap UI. Then we will say marks out of let's suppose one fifty. Roll number I will provide. Okay and uh, let's suppose instead of this okay let me use some subject okay and then uh, this is the name of the student so here i will put raw okay and now i will run this to run this web service you have to click on this icon So once we run it, you can see uh, it has shown me this uh, result. So it has returned me um, an request ID, which was um, um, like as a response for this particular web service. Here, if you see, if I go to the uh, student web service, I will go to this operation. You can see here output mapping request ID. So what it will do when you call this web service, so whatever fields are there, it will return them as a output uh, response so here i have mapped a request id so it has um, returned me the request id when i called it from here so now uh, you can see this uh, web service number 20204 if i go here now in uh, this form this request is already created you can see this data is created similarly i can use now um, if i want to test and set operation then i have to add it i have to um, modify them uh, this particular web service here i need to add that operation and then i can also test it from here from the soap ui so now um, uh, this is how you basically test a web service using the uh, soap ui now if you want to uh, um, check more operations you can uh, use what you need to do just you need to add them here add the operation like uh, get list get operation so you can define these operations set operation is for update just similarly these two operations i have already explained 
so you can use them and test it this is normally for uh, testing purposes because whenever you want to uh, create a new web service and publish it or give it to somebody for a third party for integration so you, this is the best way of testing it whether this is working or not what are the parameters it will require what are mandatory parameters that can be all uh, defined here in the uh, or th that can be all tested in the in uh, web service so what is the format you need to follow for this web service that also can be tested here in the uh, soap ui so this is how you test a remedy using the soap ui thank you